So I also want to talk about another issue that happens, and that is when we get a lot of pieces all in one uh, view. So I've got all of these pieces together. And what I'm going to end up with is um, there's a lot to see. And to fit it all in, particularly to fit it all in so that my background doesn't show up, I kind of have to squish things together, and I kind of have to have a fairly large picture. And now this on the, on the video screen where it takes up the whole page, we can see stuff okay. But the problem is when we uh, make it real small, so it's on the video, uh, uh, it's shared in a discussion, it's hard to see all these details. I'd be better off making an arrangement that focuses on just one part of the picture. So maybe I take a picture of the whole set, but then I have a photograph like this where I'm zooming in on just that set of work. Maybe I have another photograph where I'm zooming in on just these pieces. And I can I can bring the photo down if I've got a particular form that needs to have some detail, you know, where we have that texture. The other sort of thing you can do is you can sometimes get away with propping something. Um, so you can prop something up. This one's not the most attractive thing to prop it on, but I could prop it up on another piece so that we can get that detail, we can see the textures. And then that leaves me this smaller group. Um, and of course, I'm going to bring them towards the front of the table so we don't have that extra stuff visible. Now, if I were to take a photograph right like this, notice that I've got this extra stuff in the corner. I can crop that out afterwards, after I take that photo. 